Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you a quick review of this Sabrent M.2 Toseta 2.5 inch adapter, which has a very cool feature. I've already reviewed similar adapters and shown the upgrade options. Basically, you can replace any 2.5 inch hard drive with this enclosure and an M.2 NGFF SSD inside of it. However, this one has an extra feature that makes it even more versatile. So, let's get into it. Inside, we have a Phillips screwdriver, some screws, USB cable, a manual, and the adapter itself. It's made of metal, feels nice and solid. The cool thing about this adapter is that apart from SATA, it also has a USB 3.0 interface. There's also a model without the USB port, I'll put the links down below. You may ask, what's the point of this port? Well, there are various applications where it can come in handy. For example, if your operating system fails or your computer dies, you can simply remove the SSD, plug into any computer and get access to your data. Or you can put an M.2 SSD from a broken laptop inside it and recover your files. It's also very handy in situations where you need quick access to your SSD. So you can just remove it, connect to your computer and access your files. I bought this enclosure specifically for my Atomos Ninja HDMI recorder. To access the video files, I used to have to remove the drive, then connect it to this USB to SATA adapter, and finally connect the adapter to my PC. Now all I have to do is remove the drive and connect it directly to my computer. Easy peasy. Let's open up this adapter and install the SSD. As I mentioned before, this adapter supports only NGFF SSDs, NVMe won't work with it. This adapter doesn't mess with the SATA data line, so there won't be any speed drop. Simply plug in the drive at an angle, then gently press it down and secure it with a screw. Apply some thermal putty, then close the case and secure it with the four tiny screws. Well, we've got a little problem here. We need to cut out a hole for the cable. I'm not gonna use any fancy tools or techniques, just a set of exacto knives and files. Now we can place this enclosure into the master caddy and secure it with the four screws. It looks like it came out of the factory like this. I really wish this adapter had a USB support, but you can always buy a cable like this. The link will be down below. Let's see if it works. As you can see, the device has recognized the SSD, but can detect its capacity. So what we need to do is format the drive. This process will delete all partitions and data, which is useful for used drives. And the SSD has been recognized as a half terabyte drive. Now, after recording some videos, all you need to do is remove the drive, connect it to your computer, and you'll get instant access to your video files. So if you already have an NGFF SSD lying around, for example from a broken laptop, then this enclosure is a great option for upgrading your old computer, game console and other devices. So I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.